Good day. We are from group three. Today we are going to present lab two question one. The presenter today is me, To Jingyi, and my group mate Li Wan Ting. In this scenario, we assume that that the parent process identifier is assigned with ID equals to twenty one. By following the code, fault system call is used to create a process. The line PID one equals to fault creates a child process with PID one equals to twenty two. Hence, at ID equals to twenty two, PID one equals to zero, which means child process is created. Then it enters the if else condition. At here, PID one is not equal to zero. Thus, it enters the else condition. Then P the line PID two equals to four creates a child process with PID two equals to twenty three. Hence, at P at ID equals to twenty three, PID two equals to zero, which means child process is created. Then PID two enter another if else condition. Since PID two is not equal to zero, it enters the else condition. At line PID three equals to four, it creates a child process. At ID equals to twenty four. Hence at PID three, hence PID three equals to twenty four, and at ID equals to twenty four, PID three equals to zero. Then we move to ID equals to twenty two. At ID equals to twenty two, PID one equals to zero, and it enters if condition. While PID two and three are both equals to zero, <coughs> due to no process is being created. At ID equals to twenty three, PID two equals to zero, as it creates a child process, and PID two <coughs> enter the if condition. PID one will take back its integer value, which is twenty two, while PID three at this stage is equal to zero as no process is created. At ID equals to twenty four, PID three equals to zero. PID one will take back its integer value, which is twenty two, and with PID two, which it returns an integer value of twenty three. Therefore, the final output is. Operating system difficult but interesting. I love operating system class. Operating system difficult but interesting. Thank you.